Good morning and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thanks so much for joining us for another segment. We're going to be speaking with Dr. Suzette Pereira. She's uh, joining us here to talk about some recent research that suggests that the loss of muscle mass is associated with compromised immunity and infections. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Suzette Pereira, and uh, thank you so much for taking the time. I thank you, Neil, for that introduction and for having me as a guest on your show. Well, um, what is your area of expertise? What do you do and, and where is it that you practice? Sure. I'm a muscle health researcher at Abbott. Mm-hmm. And as a global health uh, care company, at Abbott, we are dedicated to helping people live their best and healthiest life. I have been working in this area of muscle health for almost two decades now. Mm-hmm. And I'm really excited to share how we can help patients and also help ourselves lead their healthiest lives through maintaining muscle health. How is muscle health related to immunity, the the immune system? As we continue to live and manage through this COVID crisis, uh, I think immune health is on top of everyone's mind, Mm -hmm. uh, both for our healthcare professionals as well as patients. And so it is the focus on immune health. One thing that is overlooked is the importance of muscle. And people may not be aware that muscle is a key contributor to our immune health. Uh, So as long as we can keep our muscles moving and fueling our muscles with the right nutrition, we can optimize our overall health, but also our immune health. Now, when people think about muscle, they sometimes just think about what they see, right? The biceps, triceps, uh, or bodybuilders. But what we need to realize is that muscle makes up around 40% of our body. And it's essential for our strength, energy, and of course, mobility. But it also regulates our metabolism uh, and extremely important for immune health. There's a lot of research that's coming out that shows that loss of muscle is associated with compromised immunity and increased risk of infections. And we know that muscle is central to uh, immune health because muscle really provides building blocks or amino acids that are important, certain amino acids for immune cells. Um, If you have low muscle mass, you are at a greater risk. Uh, And if you're in the hospital, you may have longer hospital stays, a slower rate of recovery, and also you have an increased risk of readmission. So it's really essential for people to be thinking about their muscle health as a way to improve their immune health. So what are your suggestions for increasing muscle mass in a healthy manner? I mean, surely there are ways to increase it that won't benefit uh, a person greatly. Poor nutrition is really uh, uh, an important factor that leads to loss of muscle as also is important for your immunity. So people need to make sure that they're getting proper nutrition Uh, Because there is a really strong relationship that shows that if you have poor nutritional status, you will have compromised immunity. Um, When we think about nutrition for our muscle as well as for our immune health, uh, what we need to start thinking about is uh, foods and nutrients that are going to help support uh, these systems. So the top, uh, the, uh, top ingredient that comes to mind is protein. And protein is so important because it is needed uh, for muscle because it provides building blocks or amino acids to build muscle. But it is also important for building antibodies and the immune system cells. When we think about protein and how much we should take, uh, make sure you're getting around 25 to 30 grams of protein at every meal. And there are easy ways to incorporate protein into your diet. So you can eat chicken, if you uh, chicken, beef, pork, or if you're vegetarian, you might think about beans and legumes. They are great sources of protein. Uh, and also dairy products, eggs, these are all great sources of protein. So make sure you incorporate that in your meal. When you think about foods that support immune health, uh, make sure that you and your patients are getting enough antioxidants, Vitamin A, vitamin B, and zinc, these are all really important to support immune health. Um, People are aware that vitamin C is really important too, uh, and there are great sources of vitamin C, for example, the citrus fruits, 
like oranges, grapefruits are great sources of vitamin C. Uh, so make sure that you and your all your patients are getting foods that will support not just your muscle, but can also support your immune health. Now, even with a, a healthy diet, as the one that you've outlined, as we get older, we're going to lose some muscle mass. What about that situation of uh, people, you know, uh, 60 older in their 70s who are going to lose muscle mass regardless of their intake or supplements, something that you suggest as well? Uh, yes. Actually, starting at the age of 40, we all start losing muscle. But depending on your health status, you can lose almost 8% of your muscle mass per decade. And if you are 70 years old, your rate of muscle loss is almost double. So you lose almost 15% of your muscle mass in, in 10 years. Um, it, on top of that, if you have an illness or if your patient is on hospital, those are all factors that further exaggerate the loss of muscle. And that is why we need to really start thinking about what are the right things we should be doing for ourselves as well as for our patients to prevent this loss of muscle and also to support our immune immune health. I just mentioned about important foods that we should try to incorporate in our diet that will help with muscle and immunity. But many times, uh, you know, as people are weak, if they have an illness, they don't feel like eating. And that's really when a, a nutrition shakes uh, uh, come into play. Mm -hmm. Abbott has Ensure, which is a nutrition shake that has been designed for people who cannot eat as well and are developing malnutrition perhaps because they're not getting the right nutrients. Mm -hmm. uh, so look for shakes like Abbott's Ensure, which provide the protein that you need for your muscle, but it also provides the essential vitamins and minerals. Uh, in Abbott's Ensure, we have more than 25 essential vitamins and minerals, including antioxidants, vitamin A, vitamin D, and zinc, all of which are required to support immune health. So uh, the bottom line is if you feel that you, you're not eating right or you are not sure about what types of foods you, you are eating to get these uh, nutrients important for your health, Try to supplement your diet with uh, uh, oral nutrition shakes such as Addicts Ensure because that will at least help you get the basics that you need to keep your muscles going uh, as well as to support your immune health. Now, one last thing I want activity because along with nutrition, you should always try to incorporate some kind of physical activity into your lifestyle. Uh, you know, we know regular exercise is extremely important for muscle. Uh, and not just aerobic exercise, you know, uh, uh, aerobic exercise is great, you know, it's like walking, running, because they're good for your heart. But you also need to be thinking about uh, resistance training, because resistance training is needed, so weight-bearing exercises. This is needed to help you build your muscle, as well as it's good for your bones, so it will keep, keep you stronger, keep you going, especially as you get up there in age. Um, if you start exercising, make sure you're eating right because the more you exercise, the more protein you're going to need, the more of these minerals and vitamins you're going to need. So complement and increase in your exercise with the right nutrition. Now, it's my understanding that our listeners can learn more about Abbott Nutrition Health Institute at anhi.org. Is that correct? If you want to get all the latest research and educational information on muscle health, and immunity. This is a great resource for both healthcare professionals as well as for, for patients to learn about muscle, the importance of muscle, important nutrition that will help muscle uh, as well as that will support your immunity. Well, I appreciate you joining us here on Health Professional Radio this morning, Dr. Pereira. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.